Welcome back to Carpathian Countryside for episode 10 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's August 1. I woke up this morning and decided, right, there's, there's a harvest contract. Don't make the same mistake. Don't borrow equipment. You've got your own. So I started driving down the road and it starts raining. <laughs> so I can't harvest yet, but weirdly, up the top it's saying cloud. Um, but it's still raining, so I'm assuming the rain's going to stop at some point. So first harvester is out. Uh, field 19 is this one just here. We are currently, yeah, at the corner of this one. So compared to nine third of the size, maybe. So once I get all four harvesters out, I'll do what I've done before. I'll get this one going around the outside, get a couple of others. I might only run three as I'm trying to decide. Um, so there'll be a little bit of worker fees, but we're not paying for borrowing the equipment off the farmer. Uh, if we get any sorghum left over, brilliant. I'm thinking possibly as well, because at the farm we've got the, um, there's the pig food um, machine. Um, I haven't really looked at the recipe or anything like that. Um, I wasn't intending doing pigs, but we have got all that potato stored in that shed there from a couple of potato contracts, and we are going to do sorghum. So I'm wondering whether or not, if we do a few more harvest contracts as they pop up, depending on which ones become available, we might be able to. We need a sunflower one. Is that the only field that's got sunflower in? Oh, yeah, we're not going to get very much off that. Because one of the, I think one or both of them uh, are, let's have a look. Oh no, one requires canola. Canola and barley, but we've got no corn. <laughs> that one, sorghum, wheat which we've got a little bit of, and potato, which we've got, but we've got no sunflower. So unfortunately, each one of those, unless we get some real cracking corn harvest pop up later on in the, in the season, um, that's not going to help us very much. Actually, what I will do, I'm going to back this off onto this field. It's got nothing in it at the moment. Do that. Stop there. And I'm going to go back and grab the next one. So yeah, once I'll wait for the rain to stop, and I'll crack on with that. We'll get that harvest done. Um, the money went up, then came down a little bit. As I said at the end of the last episode, when I finished those two contracts, that I did the harvest contract, I did the cultivating contract, I replaced the 6,600 I'd spent on liquid fertiliser, and the difference between that and the contract was at 8,000 and something, wasn't it? Um, I, I think I bought another 2,000 litres. So we've got a little bit, we've got a bit of a buffer of liquid fertiliser for the time being. Um, I am considering, though, um, I said about getting a larger cultivator because we've got the K700. I'm thinking there's that there's a nine meter one. For me personally, if we're doing like no till, so we're going to do direct drilling. If we do have to cultivate at all, I want to do shallow cultivating on our fields. However, for cultivating contracts, I think we might pick one up. And there's one. I'm sure it's 9.4 meters. I've used it before. Um, only because it's, really, it's fairly cheap, I think it's 11 grand for 9.4 metres. So it makes sense to grab one. Again, I can be doing something else, have the tractor and a worker just doing a cultivating contract, and again, I'm not wasting money or using money on borrowing someone else's equipment. And if we do one fairly large cultivating contract, that will pay for the cultivator itself at 11 grand, so I might do that. Um, but again, it's just an idea at the moment. So yeah, we'll grab the next harvester. I'll go that on the field. Once rain stops, we'll crack on. Um, this again, this was this got kind of in response to people saying, well, you know, you're doing loads of contracts off camera again, but not showing you doing them. And some people want to see them, some people don't. So I'm, I'll do a bit of both, you know, like I've done before. Um, it was, and literally five minutes later, the rain stops. Well, I'd say the, sun, the sun's coming out, it's not looking too bad. And set this one straight up, and then I'll get the other one going over there. I've only got three at the moment, but we might get another one going. I know I'm bouncing backwards and forwards, but that trailer we bought, it was a bit of a pain to unload into it with these. I am considering. <laughs> I know, I know, going back to the ones that I had before. People have been suggesting all different trailers, and one of the reasons why I've been shying away from some of them is just the cost. And I got, kind of got to that point before we lost the use of the other field, where I was like, okay, brilliant, we've got a load of money here, let's invest in a, in a, a different trailer with large capacity. It doesn't matter if it costs more money, we've got a bit, but I've got to be cautious of the money again now. So I'm considering 
getting four of those smaller ones now from just a much longer chain. Who is it messing with? Is it Michael? Might have been Michael. Could have been Hydra. Could have been. Well, so many people have been talking, messaging me and sending me various different things, ideas, and thoughts, and whatever. Um, I mean, I could have ten of those lined up together. It doesn't matter how many I've got. I could have a whole load of them, and it would make unloading far, far easier. With the lorry I've got, which is what I was pulling them with before, it's got enough horsepower to pull them, so it wouldn't be a problem. So I guess I could do, couldn't I? And they're only four thousand something each. So if you're getting four of them, that'd be another. Well, I only need three because I've got one. I'll just swap that over from its bail configuration. So I'd need three. So maybe what? Just under fifteen grand. I might do it, you know, and leave that other one for when we move forward a bit. Just ease of use, isn't it? Let that work. Carry on. Go and grab the next one. Get that going. And I'll see in a little while. When I've made it, I'm, if I come out with four trailers in a row, you'll know why. Um, I probably will, won't I? All joking aside, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm going to sell this. I was going to say I jumped the gun on it. I didn't jump the gun because, based upon the trajectory we were moving in, it made sense. However, because of what's happened and the fact it worked out. It was taking a long time because of manoeuvring it and getting into the right position for unloading. So what we're going to do is sell on that. Oh, 28 grand, is that all? That's all right though, actually, you sell that. It's got 28 grand back on that. I've got one trailer over at the farm already. I said I was going to buy three more, so I've got four. I'm not. That held 48,000 litres. If I get three more, that will give me 44,000 and something. So just under what that one was. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy four more. Um, and then that way, we're over what the capacity was on that. So these ones, if I go for the 11,100, are 4,500 each. I'm not changing anything else. I might change the colour. I might have one of each colour, actually. Let's get a red one buy that uh, and then we'll go with we've got a green one haven't we already I can't remember now let's go with that buy that two and then we'll go with we'll go with the blue why not buy that that's three isn't it yep and then let's go with doesn't really matter greyish colour oh that looks a bit weird Oh, that'll do. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just so I've got in different colours. I could have more the same colour. It makes no difference whatsoever. Um, so, by that. That's not bad. So now, we've got 55,500 litres, as opposed to 48,000 litres. Plus, this lorry will pull it, no problem at all. Or pull them, should I say. And they'll all go under the, the augers of the harvesters no problem at all yes they all get a little bit windy but i'd set them all on tip side left or right so if we take them to the um, main silo or our own silo it will work it works no problem at all they're all tipping to the side it's going to be a little bit of a pain i'd normally do one at a time on these so i'll bring one to forward um somebody asked me the other day um I, like i said i'm not a big fan of these and um, i've always said that it just takes a bit of practice, you can get there, of course you can with anything, you know, doesn't matter, but... Um, somebody said they've been trying to attach them and were really struggling. Because they said once I've got a couple lined up, trying to back three up, or two up, onto the next one to hook up, it doesn't work. Um, easy solution to that is just get one at a time and bring it to the front. Rather than trying to, I know it seems obvious, and it's that kind of well, yeah, of course you would, but not always. I've always said that sometimes I'll do something, and someone will message me and say, Why didn't you do blah blah blah? and you think, Oh, yeah, that, that makes far more sense. Why didn't I do that? So rather than trying to back two up to hook up to this one, just bring this to the front, then you're only moving one at a time. It gets a little bit more difficult if you, you know, when you get into sell points and stuff, if you've got a load you need to move and. But realistically, once they're all hooked together, I shouldn't have to worry too much. I might disconnect one off of this when we get round to different parts of the year, like I've been doing for coming to collect um, pallets or bags and stuff like that. 
But other than that, we should be good. So I'll see you over the field in a minute. I'll have the fifth one hooked up as well. We'll have ourselves a proper old chain. Daisy chain, train. I know, well, I've said this before, people, all over the world, people, there's different things, you know, what, what they're called, depending on where you are. It can be a train, a daisy chain, whatever. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you call it, what it's called, wherever you're from. It's not, you know, at the end of the day, they're all hooked together. And I have to say, on camera, that worked out way better than I thought it was going to. And yes, it's quite a long proposition and can get a little bit, um, can get a little bit fruity on the main roads kind of thing. Right, I've been coming that way. We're good that way. Let's go. <laughs> this reminds me very much of Bjorn Holm. I said that once before, didn't I? With the Flegel Bull trailers. I remember doing a forage harvest. And I must have had ten of them, if not more, lined up. It's good time. I mean, it's good timing if you want to watch the train go by. Not good timing if you're in a hurry. But... Fifth trailer attached. It's time to unload, I guess. Uh, I think two of the three harvesters are full the third one I was controlling is down in the bottom corner of the field I was just trying to do the headlands at either end but it filled up so I'll let, unload these then I'll go down and I'll carry on doing that bit and we'll crack on well this is quite the train isn't it? I like it I, I, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good shout I, 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 I know what I was saying about who had suggested it and I said a couple of people there was a whole list of people that could potentially have been could have been Farmer Foley as well actually that suggested it but I can't remember off the top of my head <laughs> not that it matters so then we'll crack on and we'll go down the road back up the other side to the other one do that do that get going and I'll head off and then what I'll probably do is I'm sure I think let me jump ahead at that point maybe to our first offload I think maybe see the other harvest is just over there yeah? just over there I'm doing what I usually do split the field up into however many harvests I'm running you know unless it's a massive field but I do it in chunks and then they can work their way across each chunk and they don't get in each other's way Sometimes people prefer to do it so the harvesters run close to each other, so when you're unloading you haven't got to go a long way between. Um, it's just the way I do it. Rightly or wrongly, as you can see the other harvester down there. Just thinking now, for when we have to, have to unload this. Um, I should be right. I mean, the thing is, it's, um, yes, there's five trailers, and yes, it's a long train but to be fair because they're quite short trailers generally speaking you find when you turn a corner they follow pretty precisely behind where you were they, you know, they don't cut across a corner or anything like that so I should be alright for unloading right second half let's get that done so two full loads from a harvesters from a harvester from the harvesters won't fill one trailer so this is 5,100, so 10,200, and the trailer's 11,100, so it would be two unloads and a bit for each trailer. Let's get that one going. And I'll see you in a bit. When we go and do our first time, unload 55,500 litres, it should be, I think. I thought I'd record this bit because I wasn't sure how this was going to fare uphill. <laughs> and as we can see, oh, I did alright actually. Not better than I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to slow right down. We've got a couple of um, valleys to go through. We're going over to the left, over to Jenny Jenny's Old Stones, I think it is, to unload. 
as I know I've said this so many times before, I just I just enjoy driving around the map. I, 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 it's, an, it's a lovely map. I was, um, I think it might be a farmer phone that messaged me the other day. Definitely, I think. Definitely, I think. That's me, isn't it? All over. Um, about court farms. And a few people have messaged me because um, a few people have had early access and done map tours. I have deliberately stayed away. I have not watched a single map tour of any of them. Um, it's, it's another one of those ones, you know. You get maps, you get loads of maps that, that crop up, and I, when I do my map tours, I get maps that really surprise me. This was one of them. What's happened here? Oh, that's weird. I thought I got stuck on something. It didn't seem to want to drive. Indicates off. There we go. Um, it, yeah, the, the, so you get maps that really surprise you. You get others that are, are remakes of ones we've had previously. And I always try and do, when I do a map tour, I'll say this is new to Farming Simulator 22. Um, or I'll say this is a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22, depending on whether it's been ported over from a previous version because people say well, it's not a new map but it is to it is to FS22 so when I say it is new to Farming Simulator 22 it is it's not necessarily a new map sometimes I say this is a new mod map to Farming Simulator I'd always say 22 normally but um, yeah um, but Court Farms is one of those ones it's you know you get these ones every now and again people say oh such and such is coming or so and so is coming and have you seen any early access and it's it, that anticipation builds you know people are really excited for it from what I gather it's phenomenal Comsden but better or something like that we will see won't we we will see when it comes out so let's I think I probably need to zoom in a little bit on this I'm a long way out That's better. So yeah, what I'm hoping is, as I come out of here and turn, because it's a little bit tight, they should follow pretty much directly behind me. I shouldn't have too much trouble. It's just whether I can turn this end away from me. I need to make sure I don't go too tight. It should be alright. I'll get the rest unloaded. So um, what I'll probably do now, that's the first full unload. I can't see what's left on the field. I suppose what we're going to have to find out is what percentage of the um, contract completed will this give me um, so this 55,000 litres that will give me a good idea how much more I've got to deliver I'm I should get the same again well I'll have, I'll have to get the same again if it's not more than 50% I'm, I'm gonna need to at least get the same again otherwise I won't complete the contract um, will there be any left over I don't know again that will depend of course when I come to unload the next lot, if it takes all of it, and I still need a bit more, I'll bring some more back over. If it completes on, for example, the final trailer, then whatever I've still got over in the field is mine, so I won't have to worry about, you know, seeing what happens. So I'm curious to see what it will say. Okay. This is going to put me up around 45... Hmm. Won't tell me over 50, will it? 47. Okay, so I'm going to need at least another full load. And then what I'll do, I'll probably see you, rather than do another unload like that, I'll see you when we're done and we'll see what happens, shall we? Harvest is complete. Two full loads of 55,000 litres delivered on the second lot of 55,000. Um, we completed the contract. So we've got 11,873 litres of sorghum left. I'm going to bring my wagon train. We can actually do it now. Like the old, uh, the old western circle of wagons. We can, we've almost got enough to do a circle, haven't we? But what we are going to do... Uh, shall I do a loop round? Oh, I can leave them where they are, can't I? Right, let's disconnect from there. Just take these two. Tip side left. Should still be on. Put that in. Fantastic. Right, so I can also do... We'll check on what we've got in here. Oh, we didn't have any sorghum at all. I thought we had some sorghum in already, but it wasn't, was it? It was canola we had. Okay, we're getting a little bit of everything in here. 
I definitely want to move forward and get some corn. So possibly pick up some corn contracts. The only problem with that is um, I don't have corn headers. So if I was going to use my equipment, I'd have to lease corn headers. So realistically, if I get corn contracts come up, I'm better off borrowing equipment from the farmers because they'll be fully equipped. I'll lose a little bit off the contract, but it'll be less than if I lease headers to use my own stuff. So I think I'll probably do that if we get any come up. Anyway, we're looking good. That's the main thing. This is a bit of a weird departure from where we were. Um, I just started a potato harvest and I was, as I was doing with the sorghum harvest, I was going to do a lot more of the potato harvest to show it being done. We had borrowed equipment from the farm. Um, and I came back on to carry on recording and this is what's happened. I cannot get back onto my game. Uh, I can get back onto Edgewater. I can get back onto my mod map. Um, I've tried this because I'm playing it in multiplayer. So I can have um, a separate bank account and I have one for the sort of main regional government kind of thing. Um, not on um, G Portal, but on just the standard in game multiplayer server. So I'll come off there, I'll go on to um, just a standard single player game. If it works on single player, then I have to work out if I can get back onto multiplayer and try and split the money again. I can't get it loaded on single player either. Um, something has gone wrong. I've tried um, backup save because it's saved to my console storage and it's also saved to the PlayStation Cloud in essence. Um, that hasn't worked either. Every time it gets to 85% and that's it. So unfortunately, as it stands at the moment, that's it for Carpathian Countryside. My only option would be to come out, start a completely new save game and redo everything from the beginning. Which could take, I don't know, I, I can't imagine how long it's going to take. Um, so, what are we on, episode 10? I wanted to put this on the end. I was going to just put a message into the um, into Facebook and onto Twitter, but not everyone follows me on Facebook, not everyone follows me on Twitter. Um, I know it's going to annoy people, and I'm sorry. I, I, I'm really, at this point, not sure what I was going to do. I have had people message me before, since FS22 came out, saying similar things. Their game has got to 95% complete. Well, their, their game has got to 60%, 65%, and then it just spins, and they can't get to load up. What should they do? And I was messaged back and say, I honestly don't know, because it's never happened to me. Now it has. So uh, apologies for that. And in the last episode, we'd made that change to what we were doing. We changed tack a little bit. We didn't have access to the field. I was really looking forward to where we were going to go with it, with the new sugar beet field and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, that's it. So I do apologise. Um, as far as it stands at the moment, unless I can work something out or something drastic happens, this is the end of this Let's Play. Uh, it's a bit of disappointment. Um, I hope you enjoyed it up to this point. Um, if you did or have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. Uh, if you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.